Uh, morphic resonance experiments are also possible in the human realm. Um, it's, it's hard to set up morphic resonance experiments online because what you're trying to do in morphic resonance is seeing if a skill gets easier as time goes on. Is it getting easier to learn skateboarding, windsurfing, snowboarding, skydiving, etc.? The problem is in the real world. Rupert, could it be something like teaching a brand, <laughs> could it be like a brand new sport? Because skateboarding and all these other sports are already, they're known. But if we made up a new sport in some random location across the planet, and then uh, 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 the general idea is that if I picked people of approximately same cognitive capacity and in, in one part of the planet, and we taught them a brand new, never been thought of before sport, yes. and then we picked other people of the general Real similar cognitive capacity yes. and we and we measured the time that it took them to learn this brand new sport that no one's ever heard of and that's the idea of how we could do that absolutely they should be able to learn it quicker but the problem is you know i spend a lot of time thinking about experiments and um the the problem with this particular one is that now everything is so interconnected with the internet that if you train a group of people and you say, look, we're training you this really new sport no one else has ever done in the world, within seconds, one of them's going to have it on Instagram. Hey guys, I'm learning this new sport, sport that no one has, and it's going to go all over the world. So um, the only way of actually doing this uh, would be to have a group of people who really are cut off from the rest of the world. You know, prisoners for example or um, have it done right away like if you if you take and just and you ask them hey guys just for the rest of the day don't um post about this on on the internet quite yet even though that is like our extended phenotype in a sense but just don't post about it on the internet yet and then have the group in you know if, if we're doing this in texas and then we have somebody in oxford and somebody in melbourne that it that are that are also going to do it just literally 15 minutes after the one in Texas complete. Yes. Yeah. That's good. A good idea. And actually, where this would co probably be, it would probably be easiest to do using some kind of new video game, which involves some kind of new skill that you have to learn mm. to do the video game. So this could be built into some kind of new gaming platform um, where you could have a completely new thing in a video game where you have to solve particular problems. Um, that um, no one solved before. And then it, it might be possible to get people doing it, you know, 15 minutes later in Melbourne, Australia, and that sort of thing, um, and see if they do it quicker. Okay, so, like, like like a sort of, in, in a sense, it would be like if I'm entering into a game, because I'm, I'm a huge gamer, it, um, and have been, and I think a lot of people around the world are because it, it kind of creates a, an idea of, a deeper idea about who we truly are and how this is already virtual reality, but we'll get there in a moment. The idea is that it could be the immersion into a game where I have to do a, a never before done puzzle of sorts and i yes. and i do that never before done puzzle and then immediately as soon as i'm done they're triggered in a different country around the world the next person begins doing the puzzle then the next person and these are gamers that have generally the same cognitive capacity and generally the same uh, dexterity and video game um uh capacities their their abilities have been trained so it's not like somebody that has never held a game controller before versus somebody that has. Yeah, that's right. Well, maybe the people who do this might have to do some kind of preliminary test to show that they're up to a certain level of skill. Yes. yes. Um, or there are certain games have levels anyway, pick people who are at a certain level. Um, anyway, the point is with large samples, it, it doesn't really matter about matching them too much. You can do things with, you know, if you've got thousands of people taking part, you yeah. know, the individual differences tend to cancel out with very large samples, as long as there's not a systematic bias in favor of smart people doing it first and less smart people doing it later. That's so, so Rupert, would, would you say that, um, I, see where, I see where you're going there, that's, that's beautiful. So the idea is that if we could recruit just uh, a thousand people around the world to, to do the same 
puzzle that's never been done before, but that we make this, we design this puzzle and then we kind of have a domino effect of the 1000 people in different countries around the world. As soon as the first person's done, it's a brief puzzle. Maybe it only takes a minute um, to get it done or two minutes or whatever. And then the next person starts it. The next person starts as soon as the other one finishes. And the idea would be that generally speaking, it should be if the first person takes four minutes to get it done, by the end of the 1000, the last person should be getting it done in one minute or something like that. There should be a significant yes. increase. Well, it would be, the, yeah. the points would be scattered. You know, it would be like drawing a graph through scattered points. And, you know, the statistical techniques tell you if you can see a significant trend. Would there be a significant trend towards it getting easier? You can, statistics enables you to deal with individual differences when you're looking for trends. So you'd be looking for a trend. Yep. And uh, then, I mean, the more people, the better, actually, yeah. for doing the, the trend. I mean, there is, I, I think this would be a, a brilliant way of testing morphic resonance. Yeah. Um, I'm not a gamer myself, and I don't know people who program games, but if I you can help. I can help. Yes. Yeah. I, uh, Rupert, the reason why we, you know, we have these conversations also is not only for people to get um, inspired about pushing beyond the edge of what's known, like what you're doing and, and signing up at sheldrake.org for the joint attention study and the telephone telepathy study, but also, you know, for them to design the games and then for them to do these new studies around the world that can begin proving this. Rupert, we're going to carry the flag very strong moving forward. And, and, and I agree that I think through games, especially, I mean, there's so many, uh, even in the last five years, there's so many, I know that, um, you know, uh, Stanford and, and Harvard and uh, UCSF and so many places around the world have started doing where you just take your, your device, you, t you, take, you take your device and it's something as simple as just getting that, that, uh, that notification that there's a new game that a new puzzle where we're doing a test of morphic resonance and and you know you get the notification and and you and you do the you do the puzzle and you're part of the study and you might get paid you know uh five bucks for participating it because we got a grant from an ultra high net worth family around the planet that is very interested in this exact phenomenon and so it, this is the future that we're ushering and this is a big central part of of this project and so it's totally available today to do things like that oh great well i mean anything you can do to help this along alan would be very very welcome that would be great we, um i think this would be astonishingly interesting yes we, we have the tools now to to do so um rupert i have a, a guys a call to action get something like this out into the world faster. Um, and, and, uh, and let's find out these, these what's beyond the edge of what's currently known and let's test it scientifically and in a fun and engaging way, like through, like through solving puzzles and games and things like that. This is a really fun part of, of the conversation. Rupert, 